Is that, Hello. Is that Jason? It is Jason. Yay! Jason Staten. Yes, indeed. Indeed, we've got the correct guy. Finally. <laughs> welcome, you, welcome to Firebrand Rock Radio, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me. Not at all. It's our pleasure. I mean, for those people out there who don't know who you are, you are indeed the lead guitar and acoustic guitar player and general all-round great bloke from uh, No Love Lost. I am indeed, sir. Thank you. Yes, it is. Uh, that is my role with the band and um, <laughs> playing guitar, writing, that's what we love to do. How did MRF3 go for you? Because I know you performed live for that one. Yeah, um, the Melodic Rock Fest in Chicago was yeah. fantastic. That was an absolute wonderful experience for everybody. We really loved it. We got treated really well by everybody. Uh, John Kibble, who is, the, of course, the yep. uh, owner of Kibble Records that's got our record out, was mm -hmm. fantastic. He's a great guy. It was really a great experience. We were well received, and we had a lot of fun. I believe you actually tore the roof off with your own version of White Snake's White Snake Still of the Night. <laughs> yeah, we have fun with that one. It's a, it's a good one. And, of course, uh, with our vocalist being able to do that kind of thing, he does... Uh, he does David Coverdale rather well, yeah. so um, uh, we do enjoy doing that kind of stuff. And Scott Board, the vocalist, certainly does have that that timber about his voice, doesn't he? He does. He really does. He's a he's an extraordinary vocalist. Um, I think he really uh, has has got it going on in that department. So we're uh, fortunate to have him and be able to do some of the things we do with his abilities. What was the impetus to actually redo the album? Because, I mean, I, I have a copy of the album from when you first released it. I mean, now it's come out again, um, remixed, remastered, and um, re-outworked as well with, with Mr. Kivel's record label, or Mr. Kivel's record label. Right. Well, I mean, originally, you know, we've all been playing together off and on in various different bands for years and years, and, you know, we've worked together. We've got a certain chemistry that we all really uh, feel is, is a little special to us all. So we had decided to um, get together and just write a bunch of new songs and record them and put them out, you know, no. and just see what happens. So we kind of did it as our own little home pet project for, you know, a, a while. We, we It took us a while to get it recorded and then get it out. Right. And uh, lo and behold, after we got it out and, um, you know, kind of in um, online circulation, John Kibble got a hold of it and uh, heard about it and began the conversation with us, and, right. and uh, we're, we're happy to be on board. Well, I mean, let's face it. I mean, you've, you've done something that I don't think any H have had this, any H records have actually had this happen. There's only five days left in September, okay? The CD comes out, and within five days, it's in the top 15 sold CDs for the entire record company, for the, for the record shop. I mean, that's not bad going. No, we were pretty surprised and, and amazed by it. It, it was... Uh, it was really a, a, a pretty proud moment for us. I mean, it's it's amazing that, that things can work that quickly. Yeah. Um, but but it has, and we're certainly thankful. Because, I mean, the, the thing is, these days, that there are people who will tell you that the melodic rock art form is uh, is a dying breed, and I think people like yourselves are there to tell us that it's not. Well, if melodic rock fest was any indication, um, that certainly has proven... You know, I think that, to some extent, it's still somewhat of an underground market by you know, uh, mainstream standards, but nonetheless, there's a huge appetite for it around the world. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so it's, it, we, we really, you know, have, have seen the light that, you know, there is an awful lot of people, there are an awful lot of people out there that really do like this genre and style of music and, yeah. are, and are ready for it. Absolutely. I mean, is the MRF crowd, the MRF3 crowd as wild as they were led to be, that we were led to be believed? Yeah, it was it was pretty <laughs> rowdy. It really was. It was a, it was a lot of fun, and the people there. I mean, I think that's one thing about that the the crowd that does support that style of music. They're really really passionate about it, and yeah. they really do um, love it and and support it. Well, let's hope that the the melodic rock, rock audience take you to their hearts, because No Love Lost is definitely earned its place in certainly my record collection, and certainly in the the playlist for the station. Well, that's outstanding, sir. I really appreciate that. That's really, really good news. It's wonderful to have someone near and far um, that, that appreciates it and, and, and really supports it and gets behind it. That's what it's all about. That's what it takes. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the program. I'm sorry we had to delay it a little while, and I, I'm going to hold my hands up and admit, actually, it was my fault. I've missed a, phone, I missed a number off your phone number, <laughs> so I'm really sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. No, no problem. Better late than never, right? Indeed. Yeah. Let's let's play out with the single "Little Things," shall we? Sounds 
Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jason, thank you very, very much for your time. It's been a great pleasure having You're you on very, the programme. My pleasure. Any time, sir. Cheers, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.